Hey guys, I'm Ed, and I'm back with, hmm, kind of a Minecraft tutorial. Today we're looking at MC Edit, which is basically the program which allows you to edit Minecraft terrain really, really easily. So this is, say, if you want to make some kind of map or something like that, you can do it much easier. Now I'm doing this on request by one of my friends, but I think you guys all find it quite interesting as well. So yes, let's get started. So basically, this is the, um, basically a normal world, you know, how it's generated. I just literally just generated a little while ago, and I destroyed a tree just here. So, um, yes. Now this cursor, this is the block, so I can select blocks of this. But first, something that I struggled with when I first got on MC Edit is moving around. <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, basically, you push through right mouse button you hold it down and then you get like free roam you know as if basically you've got fly mod or something like that on and that's basically all you need to know and Q goes up and Z goes down because if you do it without pushing the but the um if you actually it looks like it's a toggle sorry if you do it without you can just go forward left right and it's not really that helpful really you see this is without you see I got more more um free range on where this goes but I can't actually you know swi swivel my body or whatever or I don't know how you'd say it. it's not really body it's a floaty camera so let's just toggle that back on so we've got this now we've got all of our tools down here now there's there's quite a few um, at the moment we're probably gonna go over the select tool because that's pretty easy possibly move player and move spawn point we also have brushes clone tools fill and replace a type of filter which is pretty useful for making natural looking maps we've got import which is also very useful and chunk control which is also very useful basically this program is full of useful stuff now you may be wondering what the red things are around here basically these are entities so say dropped objects maybe experience orbs or animals or something like that and the yellow ones down here these will be chests oh, experience a little bit lag there so if I hover over it if I double click I can see what's inside this chest and good so if anyone wanted to cheat you know <laughs> you know the way that you can do it but I wouldn't advise doing it like that. I know I'm not, but this is just a tutorial for you guys. So, let's start by clearing a bit of terrain. Like my sand flat map, let's select from here. Let's drag this over, let's say, to here. So we've got a decent amount of area. As you can see down here, it shows how much it is. So, we've got a blue box here and a yellow box here. So this does here. Corresponds to these. So I can nudge these up and down. So if I want the yellow box to go up, hold down the left mouse button on the yellow one and click Q a few times and as you can see it goes up now if I want it to go faster if I click hold shift and click Q it will go up chunk by chunk so it will go up 16 blocks at a time and let's just make the blue go down a little bit now this I'm probably just going to delete this area so literally all we have to do we can either click down here delete blocks or I can literally just click the delete key so it'll take a little bit of a time now this has already been deleted but the red things is just it redrawing the terrain so the um so there we go so let's just move our big box out of the way so now we've got quite a plain area and as you can see it's got that effect like on the side of oh wait no it's not don't worry I if I would have gone a layer down it would have had the same effect as on my other map where the water's kind of floating now you can do that with MC Edit as well so now let's do the same kind of thing again and let's select a corner here and let's just place it obviously this is the other corner and let's go down a few chunks and at the moment I'm literally just making a, sand, a sandstone base now we can do whatever we want really with MC Edit. I'm just covering the basics because obviously it's the first episode, but I should go into it a little bit more depth. So we've got fill and replace here. Now we can either go down the list via IDs or we can literally just search sand stone. There we go. So we've got all of the blocks in the game really. So I can click OK or click Enter. And then I can either select replace. We'll go over that in a bit. And then I'll just click Enter again or click fill. And it will process all of this causing all of these areas which I had selected to be filled with sandstone. 
Now we've also got loads of monsters down here, so let's just remove them as well by clicking delete entities. And all of the monsters that were in this cube have gone. Oh, okay, that one's not, maybe not. Let's just, maybe it didn't work. Let's delete entities. There we go, now it's gone. So, and all of this cube will be completely filled with sandstone, which is quite useful. Now, obviously, our spawn point's there, but we might want to move our spawn point just a little bit so it's in the center. Let's do that. Ah, okay. Well, we can only go... Basically, that's meaning that I've made this too low, so it doesn't really matter. Let's not. Just, let's just ignore that. Let's move our player. It doesn't really matter. That's pretty simple to um, understand. So there we go. Player's been moved from up here down there. I know it's not really far and you won't be able to tell the difference, but it's pretty useful if you need to quickly move someone's... It's basically teleporting, really. So, yes. Um, yeah, so let's go over the replace tool. So, over here, we have this mountain over here. As you can see, these are just the low detail things, so it doesn't take up so mem much memory. Now, we like this mountain. We like the grass on it. We like everything about this mountain, except from the fact that we're trying to make a desert kind of themed map. Now, I know grass doesn't really go with desert. Now, just just ignore me on that point. So, um, yep, yeah, uh, grass is in a desert for the, um, for the purposes of this tutorial. But stone, we want stone to be sandstone, because obviously we've got a desert with grass in it. So, um, what we need to do, we need to find the stone. There we go stone, I know it would have been at the top, but now we got that, and we want to replace stone with sandstone. Sandstone. There we go. Okay, and now all we need to do, we need to either click enter or click replace, and it will just process this, and as you can see, all of the stone which was on here has now been replaced with sandstone. So, as I said, I'm going to go into a lot more on MC Edit later, but this is about the basics for now, just selecting areas, which is, I mean, even I didn't struggle with that when I first started MC Edit, and as I said, I struggled with moving, so, um, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, you've, you've, the possibilities are endless, and this is how most, you know, map creators actually make their maps, just because it is so much easier. So, let's go into the map which I just created after saving it I can either click escape and oh wait hello no I should be able to click escape okay it's not working oh well I can click control and then save and that'll work wait I, I click control C damn I'm not very good at this uh, control S there we go and it will just process everything it will relight the chunks and save everything as you can see when I click control C it's up here and this is the copying pane, so obviously control C is a shortcut for copying, you know, like on most things, and obviously control Z will paste, so, because I've selected this area here, I could click control Z and paste it over there, so, my uselessness wasn't completely useless, you know, you guys have learned something extra, so it's saved, it's just redraw redrawing everything with the new lights, because obviously it's not got instantaneous lighting or whatever. So I'm going to escape out of this and go into Minecraft to show you what's happened. I'll be right back. Hey guys, I'm back and as you can see this is the world that we've got. We've obviously got a lot of animals. You saw all of the entities above the top over there and somewhere when the terrain has loaded in a little bit more we should have our beautiful mountain that we made. I can't remember what direction it was in. I think it was this way. Let's have a look. Mm, yeah, there we are. So yeah, as you can see, it's shown up in game. So we've got our lovely sandstone mountain, and as you can see, it's replaced everything inside inside it as well. So all of it's been replaced, not just like an exterior. So yeah. So that's a brief tutorial on the basics of MC Edit. As I said, I'm going to go into it a lot more in depth. But that's basically the basics. That's all you need to do, to do to make a flat grass map or something, you know, like what I've done. That is literally all I did for my test world. Just delete an area and then replace it with sandstone. Okay, so I'm Ed, and I say you.